but I hear myself in this gospel. And I hear most of you in this gospel. The Lord has entered our lives, all of our lives, whether we're conscious of it or not. He has entered our lives. And we still are filled with ourselves. We're still full of doubt. We still say, I wonder how he can do that. Is that real? Is it really happening? Why is this happening? The Lord tells them, he's spoken to them, they've seen him. This is not the first time they've met the Lord. And he says to them, put your boat out and drop your nets. And they say, well, listen, I know you're who you're supposed to be, but you don't get it. I've been working all night. You don't take into consideration what I've done? That's what they're saying, and that's what we say. The Lord says, take up your cross. You say, wait a minute. Don't you know how much I've suffered already? What are you telling me for? We question everybody, including the Lord, because we are so wedded to our own ideas. We are so convinced that no one on this earth knows us as well as we do. No one suffers as much as we do. No one's had such a bad lot as we've had for us. And so when the Lord tells them to do something, we immediately begin to argue with him. You don't get it, Lord. You don't know where I am. You don't know how hard this has been. And you know what? He turns to me. And he turns to you and says, you know what? I get it. It's you who don't get it. It's you who still think you control your life. And you don't. All you do is make a mess of it. When you don't trust God, and you don't reach out to God, and you don't listen to him instead of yourself, you lose. And we've all done it over and over and over. What does uh, St. Peter say to the Lord? Lord, he says, get away from me. I'm a sinful man, O oh Lord. Because he recognized how doubting he was. He recognized that all the troubles in his life were his. God didn't send you troubles. You invited them in and did them yourself. The Lord offers you life, and we question, does he really know what he's talking about? I know what I'm talking about. It's my life. I can run it. No, you can't. No, you can't. We trust the world. We trust, first of all, ourselves. We trust those crazy lunatics in this world who tell us they have the answer when they don't. And so we end up having nothing because we lose our faith. We lose our peace. We lose the Lord himself because we decide first place is me, second place is God when I need him, third place is all the rest of you. And it's, we're never in first place. First place belongs to God. If you put yourself in first place, you kill everybody around you, starting with yourself. If you think you're God and all the answers are yours, you destroy yourself and everyone that comes near you. If you put somebody else in first place besides yourself and God, you destroy them, because no one can be God. And therefore you ask of another what is impossible for them to give. And you destroy yourself, you destroy them and everyone around. The only place in first is God, the only place in second is the one you love, and the third place is always you. You say, well, how is that fair? How can I be in third place, everybody else ahead of me? Because God loves each and every one of us more than the entire world together can love us. And therefore, we have all the love we need. And when you have a cup that's overflowing, you don't try and keep it all in the cup, you give it away to those who need it. That's what love is all about. Loving others, not about loving yourself. One of the biggest lines in our vocabulary is, of what about me? Of what about me? But what about the Lord? What about all of us? If you give, you have no time to be worried about you. If you love, you don't need to know, are you loved? You already are loved by being able to love. It's when you turn in on yourself, you collapse. It's when you think of yourself from the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed, and you question everyone starting with God, you live in darkness, you live in fear, you live in confusion, you live in pain. You've got to change. 
change before it's too late. The Lord is master of all. The Lord knows what you need before you know. The Lord has taken care of you in the beginning of time. And what do we know? We can't even get through 80 years of life without catastrophe and disaster. Not all eternity, just 80 little years. You can't manage it. It's overwhelming. We're always collapsing at every little thing that comes along. Because we don't get it that we're already loved, we're already cared for, everything is fine. Those of you who are parents or have been parents, you know that when a child gets frightened and they start screaming, oh, I'm so afraid of you. there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm with you. I'm here. Don't worry. And the kid relaxes immediately because you're taking care of them. And instead of panicking and throwing up all hope and saying, there is no hope for me, you say, hang on to me, Lord. Help me. Give me confidence. Give me faith. And let me trust you and not myself. Lord, get away from me, for I am a sinful man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>